Welcome to another ukulele tutorial. I'm Lara and today I'm going to show you how to play every breath you take using a beautiful finger picking pattern. First we'll take a look at the chords in this song and I'll give you several tips on transitioning between the chords. After that we'll take a close look at our finger picking pattern and I'll break it down for you note by note. Then we'll move into the song tutorial and we'll focus on a few lines at a time as we move through the entire song. You'll find the lyrics and the chords on screen as well as in a PDF link down in the video description. This finger picking pattern for this particular song sounds best if you have a low G on your instrument. If you have a high G, you can still follow this entire tutorial, but it will sound a bit different because your fourth string will be one octave higher than mine. Now let's take a look at the chords in this song and how to best transition between them. Taking a look at our first four chords, our first chord is A, followed by F sharp minor, then we have D, and E7. As we move through these four chords, there's always at least one finger that stays down to make the chord transitions easier. When you go from A to F sharp minor, you're going to leave your index finger and your middle finger in place. So starting from A, you're going to place down your ring finger to play F sharp minor. Going from F sharp minor to D, you're going to leave your ring finger where it is and move your index and middle fingers. So starting on F sharp minor, we'll leave our ring finger right where it is and move our index and middle fingers to form our D chord. Going from D to E7, we're going to leave our middle finger down and move our index and ring fingers. So starting from D, our middle finger stays in place and we move our index and ring fingers to form our E7 chord. So starting on A, we go to F sharp minor, then to D, then to E7. The last three chords in this song are B7, F, and G. Now I'm going to show you the finger picking pattern for this song. Here's what it sounds like. Let's take a close look at this. Here's this pattern played nice and slow. There are eight notes in this pattern. For the first four, I'm starting with my thumb on the fourth string, and then index finger on the third string, middle finger on the second string, and back to index finger on the third string. For the last four notes, I'm using my ring finger on the first string, middle finger on the second string, index finger on the third string, and back to middle finger on the second string. The rhythm of this pattern is one and two and three and four and. Now we're going to walk through the entire song a few lines at a time. We'll start with the instrumental introduction. Starting with the introduction of this song, we're going to play this pattern twice on our A chord, twice on F sharp minor, once on D, once on E7, and then once on F sharp minor. Here's how it sounds. Let's take a look at the first four lines of the song. For the first line, our F sharp minor chord carries over from the introduction. So we'll start the song by playing this pattern once on F sharp minor, twice on A, and then once again on F sharp minor. 
For the second line, our F sharp minor chord has carried over again. So we play this pattern once on F sharp minor, once on D, once on E7, and then once again on F sharp minor. Now I'll play from the introduction through the first two lines. For lines 3 and 4, the chord sequence will be the same as lines 1 and 2. And remember that the F sharp minor chord carries over to the beginning of line 3 and line 4. Now I'll sing through both of these lines. Every single day, every word you say. and 6, we have a new chord sequence. Our F sharp minor carries over from the end of line 4 to the beginning of line 5. So on line 5, we'll play our pattern once on F sharp minor, twice on D, and once on A. Then our A chord carries over to line 6. So for line 6, we'll play our pattern once on A, twice on B7, and once on E7. Here's how it sounds to play lines 5 and 6. Lines 7 and 8 are very similar to how we played lines 1 and 2. There are two differences. One is that we have an E7 chord that carries over from the previous line instead of an F sharp minor chord. So we'll start line 7 on our E7 chord. The other difference is that at the end of line 8, we're going to play our F sharp minor chord twice instead of once. Now I'll play through lines 7 and 8. Every move you make And every vow you break Every smile you fake Every claim you stake I'll be watching you For the next five lines, we'll be alternating between our F chord and our G chord. We'll play our pattern twice on each line on either F or G. At the end of the line, I keep crying, baby, baby, please. We will have played our F chord twice, and then we're going to play this pattern once on our A chord. Now I'll sing through the next five lines. Since you've gone, I've been lost with please give this video a thumbs up and thank you so much for subscribing. Now the next section we're moving into is an instrumental and it's very similar to what we played in the introduction. The only difference is that we have already played our A chord once on the previous line, so our instrumental starts with only one A chord instead of two. For the next two lines, the chord sequence is the same as lines five and six. So remember that your F sharp minor chord carries over to the beginning of this line. Now I'll play through the instrumental and the following two lines.
with every step you take. Looking at the next three lines, the first line will be played the same way as line seven, and the next two lines will be played the same way as line eight. Keep in mind your chords that carry over from previous lines. So the first line here will start on an E7 chord that carries over, and the next two lines will start on an F sharp minor chord that carries over. Now I'll play through these next three lines. Every move you make, every vow you break, repeats to a fade, so you can repeat it as many times as you would like. We'll start by playing our F sharp minor chord once, then our D chord for half of the pattern, and then E7 for the other half of the pattern, and then our A chord twice. Here's how it sounds to play the final line, and as an example, I'll sing through it twice. I'll be watching you. I'll be watching you. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Have fun playing this song, and thank you for watching.